because piping design it's more about common sense let me tell you very clearly if you are really good in common sense you can kick piping design just like that hi everyone welcome to my channel i am subhash chandra in this video we are going to discuss about the daily duties of piping design engineers i know you all must be interested to know about what are the duties of piping design engineers so i guess that this video will help lot of those who are uh, beginning their career in piping design to know about what are the daily duties of piping design engineer because there are some duties that piping design engineer has to do in daily day to day activity so this video will help those who are interested to know those uh, design activities actually but before going to the main our core topic i would like to share one of the uh, a good message that i have received from one of my uh, student actually he really made my day that is what i wanted to share actually let me just read out what he has mentioned about the course that he has taken actually so i don't want to reveal the name of the candidate because that is his privacy so but i would uh, just like to read through his message actually so uh, i am happy to inform you uh, that i got an opportunity in reputed company it all happened because of your unique course i could give interview very confidently because of your unique course once again thank you so much sir uh, for uh, great course and i like your teaching uh, techniques to understand the concept uh, let me tell you this is what i was expecting actually because when i started my career i was trying to go through lot of materials which has uh, thousands of lines and uh, i mean tens and hundreds of guidelines which uh it is really hard to understand and which really hard to remember actually so i thought why not to have a course which have which shows a simple graphical representation to understand the very basic uh, concepts of piping design because piping design it's more about common sense let me tell you very clearly if you are really good in common sense you can kick piping design just like that so uh, what i'm trying to say is that this is about my course don't consider this is a, a promo or promotion for my course actually you can go to my website you can see the course if you feel the course is uh, useful to you you can take it the course is about the pipe routing you will be able to learn what is pipe routing and engineering guidelines for those i've already explained a lot of uh, i i mean i already said a lot of things about this course in my previous videos so for today let's get into our topic actually please please bear with my voice because i have a minor uh, throat uh, infection so my voice is a little down so please bear with me if i have to drink some water actually so let's get into the topic so our topic of the day is what are the daily duties of piping design engineers when a piping design engineer goes to a office in daily basis what he must be doing and what he will be doing so let me just narrate some of the 10 activity that every piping design engineer should do or should be doing or you can uh, say this is a very important activity that you have to perform in your work or project or whatever it is this is the responsibility of the piping design engineer so this must be really really interesting so let's start from the first activity the first activity is recall previous day commitments because you must have kept something pending on the on your previous day because of uh, your time schedule or because of some other uh, issues actually so you have to complete that today so please always recall the previous day commitments previous day work and what the activity that you have uh, uh, committed which you may not be able to uh, deliver the previous day that you have to deliver today so you have to take that activity into a consideration to complete it today so your first activity should be recall your previous day commitments or activity or work so this a piping designer should be doing in his daily uh, uh, job day to day life actually the second activity that he has to do is check project schedule because so there are a big projects there are small projects so those who are working big projects will have lot of documents to be delivered in specific point of time for them you have to start uh, a particular i mean uh, to deliver one document you have to start at least two or three weeks before some documents needs one or two days before some documents needs a week before so you need to know the project schedule so that you will be able to understand whether you are on track or you are off track so if you are off track you should uh, uh, change you should uh, uh, take some actions in such a way you can bring or you can align yourself within the schedule planned by the projects or planning engineers actually so basically 
you have to go through the project schedule to understand what you have to deliver. So this is one of the second activity that a piping design engineer should do in daily basis. The third activity is that check, plan, allocate workload. See check, plan and allocate workload. This means that you have to go through your commitments and you have to uh, check the workloads of the teams and you have to see what is the existing work going on and you have to plan so so that you can uh, fix a particular deadline for a particular person actually you will have a lot of designers working with you you may not know what is the status of the work for that you have to check the status of the work and see whether they can accommodate any further work or what is whether they are stuck with anything or not so accordingly you can give additional jobs or additional commitments so basically you have to check your team and you have to plan the further activities and you have to allocate the work in such a way that you can get it done within a defined deadline so let's go to the fourth activity the fourth activity is review daily weekly and monthly progress this is nothing but review your commitments you must have committed something in a daily basis or weekly basis or monthly basis or you must have planned something. So you should see your commitments are going as per your plan so that you will be able to deliver on time. Otherwise, you commit someday and you may not be able to deliver and you get a bad thing. So this is what generally happens. So being a piping design engineer, one must check the daily and weekly and monthly progress. If you are not able to meet a day, then you will not be able to make the weekly commitments. <coughs> If you are not able to uh, meet the weekly commitment, you may not be able to meet the monthly commitments. It is as true as I said actually. So please monitor daily, weekly and monthly progress. Now let's go to the fifth activity. The fifth activity is sort out technical clarification within the team. Because in a, any project you can take actually, there will be a lot of technical doubts and clarifications are needed for the teams. It could be from your designer or your teammates or your um, seniors or your clients. There could be a lot of technical clarifications. So unless until you sort out the technical clarification, you cannot progress the work. So what you have to do as a primary activity of the day actually, you should ensure there is no technical clarifications pending so that your team can work. If you keep the technical clarifications pending, how you expect your team to proceed actually. So you have to ensure that all technical clarifications are resolved so that they can progress and continue making the drawings, continue making the design confidently. So the fifth point is about clarifying all the technical doubts of your team so that they can confidently develop their design. Now let's go to the sixth point. The sixth point is about check mail, communicate and coordinate. What does this mean actually? So you will receive a lot of mails from different teams. So you have to go through your mails and you have to respond for each of the mails and you should ensure that you responded properly. It is not just the, for the, I mean not for the namesake because you are into a technical job and you have to respond with respect to the technical requirements. If required, you have to attach some uh, evidences such as drawings or standards in order to ensure that your responses are technically correct. And moreover, what happens? Most of the other teams are depends on your inputs actually. So they might be waiting for your input. So unless you don't send your input, they may not be able to develop their design. So you have to check your mail and respond on time and communicate with them so that they will also start the design and you will be also receiving your inputs on time. If you don't respond, you will not get the response on time. You will not get the inputs on time. So, so finally, everybody is going to be in trouble. Now, uh, let's go to the seventh point. The seventh point is monitor and motivate the team. This is a very, very important activity that being a piping design engineer, one must do actually. Just give me a minute. Because, see, in a team, there are candidates who don't want to work and there are candidates who put their maximum effort. So you have to balance it actually. You should not give more works to a person who already working hard. So you should give, you should find a person who is not working and you should motivate them and understand what is his problem and guide him and motivate him and communicate to him that this is the expectation, this is the requirement so that he will also start contributing from his side. And moreover, don't always complain actually, you try to motivate him. See complaining and highlighting the mistakes will never work within the team. You always have to make someone understand his role and his responsibility so that he will be able to deliver his duty. 
So if you start complaining and demotivate the team, you cannot expect the work done uh, within your given deadline. So you have to motivate them for that. You have to monitor them. You have to see what is their trouble, what they are going through. Only then you will be able to support it. So please monitor and as well as motivate the team. Now let's go to the eighth important activity. Review and comment the design. So being a pipeline design engineer, you have to review each and every design that your team is producing and you have to ensure whether it meets the client specification, it meets the interaction standard or it meets the internal specification. So basically you have to review your design and comment. This is one of the very primary activity. So I don't want to elaborate more on this actually because being a responsible pipeline design engineer, we have to ensure that our design is right, right? So we must do this activity. Now let's go to the ninth activity. The ninth activity is set the expectation of the team. So what does this mean? See, in a project, we may be working with different people. We may be working for different deadlines or commitments or different timely working pressure. So uh, it's so natural that we may get deviated from our actual objective or actual goal. So it is really, really important for a piping design engineer or a lead engineer to guide the team and to set the expectation in such a way at the end of the day what we have to deliver. So if you don't do this, finally what happens is that this will reflect in your project schedule and finally at the end of the project, your project I and mean your activity will be delayed and finally you will get a bad name. So in order to avoid this, every day we should set an expectation. You can set a daily expectation or weekly expectation or monthly expectation so that your team gets motivated. They know how to plan. So you don't have to do a micro planning or you don't have to spoon feed the team. Uh, all people are well capable to understand actually. But what you have to do is that being a leader or being the in charge of your team, you have to set the expectation. You have to cascade the information in such a way that they can take responsibility and start working. So the finally, the ninth point is about set the expectation of the day. <clears throat> now let's go to the 10th point. The 10th point is about monitor working procedures. See, uh, this is nothing but Every company and every organization will have a system, will have a working system in such a way that you have to follow certain procedures, I mean review systems, quality procedures, documentation system, folder structures. So these things you have to ensure that whether your team understood this and whether they are following this or not. If they are not following, try to question them why they are not following and why if they want more clarification, you should educate them. So basically what we have to do, if the company has a certain system, we have to follow. So being a piping design engineer, it is your role to ensure whether your team follows the company system, quality procedures or folder structures and everything actually. So basically this we call generally as a working procedure. This includes everything right from documentation, the, the way the, your drawing should uh, be prepared and the way that it should be uh, escalated to a different level and the way we, uh, how it should be saved actually and how it should be reviewed and how it should be maintained in a folder. So all these things are inclusive within this working procedure. So being a piping design engineer, we should monitor this and ensure that the whole team follows this. So these are the 10 key activities as a piping design engineer we must be doing in our work. So this video will be helpful for those who are uh, a beginner into piping to understand. So what a piping design engineer should be doing in a day to day life. So this video I guess that will be useful for all of you. So I will give you another fantastic video. So before leaving this video, if you like this video, if you like my content, if you like my uh, teaching, please do subscribe to my channel so that it will give me a motivation for me to make more and more videos. So I will meet you in another fantastic video. Until then, bye from Subhash Chandra.